Well, the stars at night are big and bright, and so are the three big scre screens that you'll see when you drive down Highway 80 at the Big Sky Theater. News West 9, Sammy Steele got a chance to catch up with the film enthusiast who manages the drive-in movie operation. Big Sky Movie Theater is more than just an outdoor movie. It's an experience. I like to call ourselves a high-tech, redneck, mom-and-pop drive-in movie theater. Furlow has been the manager at the theater since it opened in 2005, but his affair with movies are deeper than that. One could say movies run in his family's bloodline. I grew up at movie theaters my entire life. You know, there's a lot of jokes about what happens at driving movie theaters. I was, you know, probably made at one, born at one. My mother almost went into labor with me at one. Um, I grew up at one. And it's more than a story passed through generations in the family. During the 1960s in Odessa, David's grandmother was a trailblazer in the industry. And my grandmother, Hope Furlow, actually has a letter from John F. Kennedy about uh, being the first female projectionist ever. Because nowadays, we don't even go in the booths. Uh, my, it's all automated. It just starts on its own. Back in the day, you had two projectors. They were carbon art. They actually had carbons, like welding carbons, and they ran. And as technology has evolved and grown, so has the Permian Basin. When you're really busy and you have, you know, between 2,000 to 3,000 people, which, given the current state of Milan Odessa, is a tenth uh, or one to two percent of the entire population out in one drive-in, um, there can be some issues. For furlough, the hustle is worth it. I just love it. I mean. It's it, it, the, the, the worst thing is the heat, but it's nice when you see uh, fathers and sons come out here two hours, an hour and a half before a movie even starts. <laughs> At the indoor theaters, you know, I'm just like them. I don't get there before that. I get there 15 minutes before. But they get out here an hour and a half before. They're throwing the frisbee. They're throwing the football. They're having fun. And if you have yet to make it out to the big screen, don't worry, because Mr. Furlow isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Been here forever. You're going to stay forever. In Midland, Sammy Steele. News West 9.